welcome back to my channel Sarah Marguerite so listen I did not feel like putting on makeup um it's like 11 o'clock at night and I just do not have it in me I've been like super like super super tired but it is what it is okay we are still going to get this video up because we need the secret word you need to stay tuned for the secret word but I just wanted to say happy teacher appreciation week to all of my fellow teachers out there. My shirt says teaching is a work of heart. How cute is this shirt? Okay, it's so cute. Shout out to my first lady for getting me this shirt. Shout out to um Lady M. I had nothing to talk about, honestly. Um I had a video that was supposed to be up um today but like the audio was like trash like so I just had to like um cut that video and now I have to improvise okay but I, but I feel something so we just gonna go with it so it is teacher appreciation week right if you are in contact with your teacher or or like um you have kids try to just say thank you try to just say thank you for um teaching me or um thank you for um teaching my kids because it is not an easy job but i just wanted to talk quickly about why it's important to never stop trying to pursue your dreams your goals or um what you know to be your purpose never stop okay never stop trying to achieve it so i always wanted to be a teacher but it was a lot of like different people that were just like they don't make no money they don't make no money what like the only benefit <laughs> is um that you have like your summers off and oh like um kids are crazy like they aren't gonna listen to you because like you have like a super soft voice and and I'm like, you're just like super nice and I'm um, really pretty. So blah, blah, blah. And I kind of was like, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I should try to do um, something else. Mm -hmm. But I always had a passion for children, like in general. And honestly, when I am talking to kids, this, this may sound weird to some. But when I am talking to kids, I rarely stutter. And that's how I know that, that that this is like what I am supposed to be doing. Like I can talk to kids and like and like they understand me. Just boom, <laughs> like without just all of the um, stammering and and um, messing up and stuff that I do like with everybody else. <laughs> but um, like with kids, it it just comes naturally. When I applied to college like for undergrad um I did not get accepted into the college of education and I tried twice to do it before I actually began my um, freshman year but my I think it was my SAT score that was too that was like a little too low I've never been a good test um taker Hardly ever. <laughs> Honestly, I just get overwhelmed and it's and like and and like especially like um multiple choice and stuff, it just I don't know, like I'm like so if I pick B because I feel pretty good about B, but then what if that's what they want me to think? <laughs> I'm gonna pick D. I don't know. That's just literally how like my brain works. So I had to be an undeclared major for my um freshman year. What I didn't know was that after like after I get like a certain amount of like um credits and stuff, I could apply <laughs> to uh, be in the college of education, and I didn't. I don't know, but at this time, I think I didn't because I didn't get accepted the first time and the um second time. And I think that I just was kind of getting in like my own head and I'm like, no. So I did not have a major 
Yo, I did not have an actual major until I think it was like the end of my um, junior year. I did not have a major. I was undeclared, but I was taking classes that had to do like with education, and those were the best classes that. I, Cause I'm like, this gives this gives me purpose. I would be like super excited to like um go to those classes because I'm like, this is this is where I'm supposed to be. Now those were also the hardest classes that I had. We didn't really have actual tests. It was just me getting in my own head because I'm like, cause it would be thoughts like, <laughs> like, why are you in here, girl? And I just always felt like I didn't really like belong. It would just be kind of hard because they, they um like will all be um going to like practicum and stuff and like um student teaching and everything and I'm just like. Okay, I'm just going to um I'm just going to get my college degree and maybe I can work at an after school program and I can be a tutor. Um yeah, so Oh, and if you guys don't know, my best friend, um shout out to my best friend. Hey, she is actually a um teacher cuz she got accepted. She worked her behind off, got ex accepted and, and like just did what she had to do and she's out here shining okay <laughs> um but yeah I had a different path I felt like my path to becoming a teacher took longer because of self sabotage once I didn't get ex accepted the first time the second time and then I tried again um I think I tried one more time when I was like, like, when I was like a junior or something and I didn't get accepted because I took the Praxis, yeah, I took the Praxis test and I passed reading and the science, but I couldn't pass the math. Me and math have a very bad relationship and I will talk about that in a, another video but yeah I didn't pass math so instead of trying to um take it again because I didn't pass the first time I was like nope that's it I ended up becoming a professional studies major which is just um liberal arts and then I minored in youth empowerment and urban studies i also minored in literacy because i love all things literacy and i also minored in professional education so all so all of my minors had to do with education i just didn't push to become a major because i had gotten told no and i was like well if they say no then that's then that's it right <laughs> wrong um so then I ended up graduating and I didn't really know what I what I could do honestly I was kind of lost because I knew that I wanted to work with kids but I didn't I didn't really like believe that I was worthy enough to so in the beginning of my post graduation i wanted to become a full-time makeup artist makeup and like a uh, marguerite on the beat i'm very 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 passionate about however that's not what i believe is my only passion or like my only purpose you know um I've always wanted to make a difference in kids' lives. Always. I've always wanted to show them love. Because you guys have no... Like, you have no idea. Kids need so much love. Because they do not get it. I'm trying to tell you. I always wanted to be that. But I lost, like, sight of that. Because I was like, what? What, <laughs> what am I going to do? So, my mom she actually told me about a, a position as a, a preschool teacher 
And I was like, I don't know about that. But I had to humble myself, one, because I did not have a plan. But then two, I just also wanted to have a chance to work with kids. And then I got hired and I was in. And this was the beginning of 2019. Um, so I began working there and what working there has taught me is that it isn't until you get in like the actual in the actual classroom and you are responsible for kids that it, that it really kicks in like okay I am really doing this like this is really what I'm doing I'm really their teacher I am responsible for these kids and they are just um, looking to me to teach them and I am not gonna lie it was definitely like it's it's it was definitely hard I'm not gonna hold you um it is not until you get in the actual field that you'll see like okay I, I don't I okay <laughs> so it definitely has built my confidence and it's just helped me to become more comfortable with who I am and how I like to like teach and stuff and it's just this definitely it's it's just definitely been awesome right now as you know I am in grad school and I'm like I always talk about the fact that I did not intend on attending any more type of no more type of school. I don't like school. Never have liked school. I don't. But it's what I need to do. So I am an early childhood education major. Finally. <laughs> so I can get where I need to be. But do not give up. Just because like um, one person told you no just because um two people told you no if you feel like like this is what you are supposed to be doing then don't give up on yourself keep on going so yeah that's what i am doing i am not giving up on myself i am going to become a classroom teacher not just a preschool teacher so um you guys just um pray for me <laughs> pray for me with that Oh snap, that's secret word. Sorry. Oh my god. Okay, secret word, secret word. <laughs> the secret word is child. Huh? <laughs> that's a that's a um secret word. Child. So go ahead over to Marguerite on the beat and type in the word child with as many E's as you want. Child. Go ahead and type that over there and I will see you on Sunday for Mother's Day. Make sure that you do something nice for your mother. Okay, period. Bye.